a vulnerability in the Windows Crypto API was recently disclosed, leaving many organizations scrambling to understand their risk and exposure. This vulnerability allows attackers to break the validation of trust in a wide variety of contexts such as HTTPS and code signing. The CrowdStrike Falcon platform provides a variety of mechanisms that help organizations quickly assess their risk, prioritize tasks, and take action to protect themselves against exploits of this critical vulnerability. Using Falcon Spotlight, CrowdStrike's vulnerability management module, and filtering for the known CVE ID 2020-0601, one can quickly see the potential impact to our organization. In our example, we have 10 systems, 8 servers, and 2 workstations that need to be patched. Let's test to see if we can leverage this vulnerability to execute malware that appears to come from a trusted source. Putting on our attacker hat and using MSF Venom, we'll take a ransomware sample and digitally sign it in an attempt to take advantage of this new vulnerability. This newly created file is called locky underscore signed.exe. I've moved this file to one of the vulnerable workstations previously listed in Spotlight. When I run this sample, you can see that it is still protected using Falcon's ML and behavioral detection capabilities despite the vulnerability. As a security administrator, I can feel comforted that Falcon continues to provide threat protection even in the face of this new vulnerability. In the Falcon UI, we see the new alert and that the process was blocked. The execution details provide additional insight. We see that Falcon still identified the sample as locky. We also see that changing the file made both the global and local prevalence unique. We can also see that the file was indeed signed in the file details. This system needs to be patched with the latest update. Using CrowdStrike's real-time response, we'll directly connect to this host. Then upload the correct patch, and then deploy the patch. Finally, this system will need to be rebooted before the patch can go into effect, so for the sake of this demo, we'll restart this system from our remote session. After the restart, we again check the status of the system in Falcon Spotlight. Because of CrowdStrike's cloud architecture, we can see updated system information without the need to rescan the organization or specific system. We see that the open vulnerabilities has decreased by one in our chart, and commensurately, the number of closed vulnerabilities has increased by one. Looking deeper, we can confirm that this was our workstation that had been patched. In addition to the capabilities built into Falcon Spotlight, CrowdStrike has provided a dashboard that is available for free to all Falcon Insight customers. To illustrate the detection capability of Falcon for this particular CVE, we'll run another test file on our patched system. Back in the Falcon UI, we navigate to our new dashboard. Navigate to the Investigate app. Find the Vulnerabilities tab across the top. Here you will see the new dashboard listed. The dashboard breaks down the vulnerable systems across the top and indicates patched and unpatched systems in easy to read pie charts. The next section includes attacks leveraging the CVE against patched systems. Here we see the system we just ran the test sign file on. The bottom section provides a way to create multiple lists and reports by filtering for different characteristics that can help prioritize patching workflows. CrowdStrike understands that when newly discovered vulnerabilities or attacks are discovered, the best tool any organization might have is a plan. The CrowdStrike Falcon platform supports this plan by providing near instantaneous visibility without negatively impacting the organization through needless scans, reporting to help prioritize workflows, and dashboards to keep everyone informed.